Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. So oh wait, that's your jump. that's your line. Sorry. Gonna jump. Yeah. He jumped. Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy 2, Episode 53. And hopefully, we're gonna get the last of these green stars today. That's the plan. And uh, something interesting, I don't think we've ever shown off. This guy. Right now, I have a hundred. A deposit. This is Bank Toad. We've never talked to him, but he takes your star bits. And the cool thing about Bank Toad is if you deposit star bits to him, basically what happens is any other players that play Super Mario Galaxy 2 on like different profiles can oh. use these star bits. So oh. he is really like a bank. So I'm going to get rid of all of our star bits because I have a strange feeling we're going to need them for some reason. By the way, I found this one up. Yeah, the more you deposit, the more one ups he gives you. Oh, that's helpful. Good to know now. Now we have no... We don't have any star bits now. That's okay. We don't need them. Anyway, we have five green stars left to go. Yes, we do. Well, let me let me take a look here. What, what do we have? What do we have? What do I have? Ooh. Ah, yes. Bowser. And, of course, Battle Belt Galaxy. Let me take a look. Well, I'm pulling up the guide right now. Ruining the magic. So I realized I forgot to uh, bring that up here. I didn't. So, uh, Battle Belt Galaxy, bringing that up here in the neck. Let's throw back. Off we go to the first one. See if you can find it before I can. It's right there. Don't. I can hear it. Oh, I forgot about these chomps. Ugh. I don't like them. All right, above the glass container on the planet with the jack-o'-lantern wearing Goombas. Don't tell me. I want to find them out. We don't have the time. Oh, stop. To, to play casual <laughs> and figure it out. We are professionals here. We're out of time limit. Uh-huh. What does this say? Defeat every enemy. Right, that was the thing about Battle Belt. I forgot. We need to kill any and all enemies that run into our path. And make sure they aren't able to heal themselves. Because that's what cowards do. There we go. Wasn't the, uh... I'm just trying to remember. Wasn't the prankster comment for this, like, do it all in one health or something? I think so. The prankster comment was either do it in a time limit, or do it with limited health. I can't remember, but I know you got it, which is why the episode was funny. That it went forever. Let's see if I can actually kill some of these guys. Hey, hey, you got two of them. I bet. All three! Holy crap! Well done. Call me a speedrunner, because I just wrecked shop. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, here's the first green star. Over there. Over there. Check, please. And off we go. Yeah, checkpoint on this one, certainly. Got there it. There it is. That yeah, wasn't too bad. I don't think there's a lot of special places where these can be hidden. Second one's very much like the first. Yeah, that's... All you gotta do is just go to the ones with the moles and go from there. That's what I'm thinking. Like, there aren't really a lot of spaces where we can hide this stuff. We're reaching the last of these levels, so I'm just thinking, where could they possibly be? Oh, out in the open again? That's clever. I hope not. Wait, I, I just don't want an easy time. These are supposed to be hard. Well, it's it's, it's not the difficulty, it's more like the monotony. Because we're going to have to go through this entire stage again, aren't we? Because all three stars are kind of in the same place. Oh, lord. There's the, there's there's the, thir the, there's the third one, for instance. So they're all in the exact same kind of place. Yep. Second one's at the moles, third one's at the chops. And we have to do this entire thing every time. I'm afraid so. Well, you got any stories that you could tell? <laughs> well, uh, this one time I was watching Nisko play in Super Mario Galaxy 2, and he was doing the Battle Belt Galaxy, and he told me, Hey, why don't you tell a story? So I just pulled something out of my ass. Oh, please, that would never work. Yeah, you're right, it wouldn't. Can you tell a real story, please? And then he tells me to tell a real story. I'm like, what the fuck you want from me, assholes? <laughs> Actually, I've, I've got work stories. Being a, a barman, you tend to get quite a few stories under your belt. Mm -hmm. Your battle belt. Yeah. So uh, I have this uh, one person 
who, for some reason, wanted the bartender before me, the guy who taught me, to always make her cocktails. She never liked me making them because apparently I did them wrong. Fair enough, I well, guess. Well, after he left, I had to be her go-to, and I accidentally did it right one day. So now she only wants me to make them. Oh, you fool. Yeah, that's the problem with that kind of job. Do it right once, you're doing it forever for that person. It's gotta be like a waste of alcohol if she keeps wanting you to do it over and over and over again. Oh, and that's the that's the pissy part. If it's not 100% perfect, she will send it back. Well... And say, this is wrong. Who pays for that, then? We do. You pay for it? We eat it. You eat it because she's a little, she's a little bitch about her fucking alcohol? Yes. Every time. I've had it sent back like five times before. Well, guess who? Well, it's, it's not my bar, and I'm not part of the, uh, uh, the, the patrons that aren't part of my pay grade, we'll say. But if she were part of my bar, she wants to go ahead and throw shit back five times in a, five times in a row, she can leave. Unfortunately, this isn't that type of place. I would love it if it was that kind of place, but nope. This is a private club. A private club, and we can't kick out anybody in our private club that we don't want in our private club for whatever reason. Actually, that's the funny thing about said private club. I think everybody secretly hates one another. <laughs> because at the drop of a hat or the sign of any... I, I don't want to say, like, animosity, but people turn on one another in there. Like, one thing goes wrong and all of a sudden, oh, I don't know you, I was never talking with you. It's very interesting to see that kind of mentality where it's just like, we're, we're friends today, but we're not friends any other time. Don't talk to me. They, uh, they all secretly hate each other. That's just not a good work environment is what that is. No, it's not. But it is kind of funny to see from the sidelines. Because it's not the employees. We're all of one big family. Hmm. It's the members we deal with. I see. Actually, I've got another interesting story that kind of piss hey, you, pisses me off. You, you got the wheel. Go for it. Yeah, this is pissing me off. Uh, apparently, um, in the environment that I work in, I do my best to try and make sure everybody is happy. That's my job. Sure. Make them happy. Sling the liquor. That's all I do. When somebody says I waved them away, that is a bold-faced lie. <laughs> I will never turn anyone away. But this drunk dickhead... Yeah, yeah Niskel turning his nose up to people. Hmm. Hmm. Thought some, some guy, like five beers in, got extremely pissed off at me one night because he thought I did one of these. The brush away motion. Right. As in, I'm not going to serve you. And they've tried to pin stuff on me before. Like, they thought I openly insulted a member under my breath and went to my boss about it nearly got me fired. That was fun. That's lovely. Yeah. But joke's on them. Nobody likes them. Ha! <laughs> You'll always have the one... The, the, a couple people who are just like, yeah, we're, we're friends. No. Not these guys. Because they think they own the place. That shit don't fly there. Gotta love those guys. Uh -huh. I'm a customer, I'm a bad customer, therefore you're gonna suck my dick! Oh no, it's, I'm a member, this place belongs to me. That's the mentality oh, that nobody likes. Belongs to me. Belongs to me, belongs I've been here for years, I deserve better treatment. <laughs> Bitch, you break one more rule, you're gone. <laughs> that's the funny part. <sighs> anyway, that's, that's my work woes. I've had to deal with a lot lately! <laughs> I don't really have a lot of work woes. It's just upper management doesn't know what they're doing. We don't have any documentation for shit. No, that's normal. Time. That's normal. Yeah, that also reminds me when I uh, worked at GameStop. Corporate came in and said, You see all those PS3 games on the left side of the store? They need to be on the right side of the store tomorrow. Yeah, but they gave you plenty of time and ample amount of... Uh, of uh... It was an hour before closing that night. Yeah, so that was plenty of time. According to them. Of course you get paid for all the extra hours you have to spend to uh, do all that, right? Oh, hope you like your minimum. 
<laughs> oh, and also, um, you have to be out of here because we can't have you going over 40 hours. Well then, how am I supposed to do that? Figure it out, plebe. Well, uh, I'm not management. That's not, that's not my job to figure out, so suck a big one. But I'm management, so you have to figure it out because it's not my job somehow. Well, this is, this is not, why I hate... My, is, is it in your job description? This is why I hate corporate, by the way. Because it's their job to say that there is a problem that you need to fix. Am I going to tell you how to do it? No. Well, I'm just a regular salary employee. I don't know what you want me to do. That's, oh. that's the way I see it. It's like, all right, not my job to worry about it, so I'm not going to do it until someone tells me to do it. Oh, that was the other thing. Salary employees have it the worst, because that is... Well, first of all, they can't make more than part-time or full-time employees, because they are stuck in a strict, like, this is how much you make per 40-hour week. <laughs> you work those 40 hours and you get this amount. That's what you agreed to. There are points at the job I'm working now where I have made two times more than my boss as a full-time employee. And I was like, that's disgusting. The entire system is rigged. And broken. And bad. I hate it. But also the thing... If... if uh, those of you out there... If you have never had a job before, and I know some of you have never had a job before... Yes. If somebody offers you salary, you say no. <laughs> Because they will have you work 50, 60 hours, but you'll still be getting paid for only 40. They will use you until you are nothing but a husk. That is the point of salary. Work them to the bone for no extra pay. Anyway, thanks for getting all three of those stars. You're not getting ex any extra pay for that. Cheating the system! Cheating the <laughs> system! And I've got two left! And they're in the final level. In the final level! Bowser's Galaxy. The Galac... Galaxy. I was about to say Galactic Reactor. The Galaxy Generator. <laughs> the Galaxy Generator will give us our last two. Ooh, 2015. Can't remember if that was a good year or not. Any good games coming out in 2015? Uh, Besides yeah. Besides Undertale? Uh, yeah. Bloodborne. I, I said good games. I know you said good games. I was being modest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as long as the modesty is there. Prankster Comet. Let's see if it shows up in the opening car. Let's see. It's right there. Oh. Well, that was easy. I mean, you couldn't see it there, but that's essentially where you're going yeah, to be. Yeah, it's, it's in that general area. Oh, no. Oh, I better not have to use that leaf thing. You do. Get it. Ah! You have to use that leaf thing. Okay. This way. Oh. Not that way! Okay, I'll go get him. You tell me what to do, Luma. Basically, kill those hammer bros, get the flower, and you should be able to see it on your way down. Oh, no. Man. oh dear. Oh dear. What is happening? You're dead. That's what's happening. Tell me honestly, when is the last time you have died to a regular Mario enemy? When's the last time did I play a Mario game? No, no, you're better than that. You normally die to pits. When have you actually died to an enemy? Well, see, see, that's the thing. I don't think it's about enemies that you die to because anything can happen. You can, you can miss your jump. You, your finger can slip. You can be tired and not pay attention. So even the goom, the first goomba in one one can take you out. Yeah. So if, if you literally have no control over buttons or you know you're you're sleeping. Where is this? Uh, on the way down? It's at the very bottom of the lava falls in a corner. Down there. Right there! There it is. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. this is devious. Yeah! But I got it. Sweet! Whew. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Lay it on me, but give it to me in, like, shortened terms. So I'm gonna read this paragraph for you so you know what you're in store for. Oh God, it's a paragraph? While this star is near the first Yoshi egg in the level, Yoshi won't be much help in reaching it. It hangs far in the distance, just past the bridge and egg. To reach it, you'll need exactly one cloud and the cloud suit. 
This means that you'll have to navigate the bullet bills in the previous area carefully using a wall jump instead of spinning an extra cloud to reach the Luma slash launch star. Once you get to the green star with the cloud suit, you can simply long jump towards it and create a platform, then pull one off, uh, pull off one more giant long jump to the star. So you're gonna want to keep up, keep a hold of that cloud suit. Keep a cloud. Okay, I can do that. Looking forward to it, my dude. I'm always up for a challenge. I really hope we don't have to beat Bowser again. No. Oh, oh, you mean to get the last stage? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Perspective is great. I know, isn't it? Anyway, let's try this again. Oh, this way. Let me block your way with my speech bubble! Oh, no! I was about to say what skill, but then I got hit. Alright, do I even need to worry about you guys? Yes. I do? Kill him in the flower appears. But it's right there. The flower has to grow, dude. See? Oh. Sorry. It's just getting a better getting ahead of myself. I mean you go into a garden, see little green spots in the ground and go, <laughs> Look! Carrots! <laughs> carrots! You don't have to grow! You don't have to do anything. This is actually really easy. Wow, really? Didn't even have to do anything. Point. And I'm just waiting for that confidence to be misplaced. I'm waiting for it too. In fact, I invite it. It's definitely farther away this time. Yeah, I remember where it is. Alright, I need to keep this power because there is the spot where I need to dig. Beow! I don't remember this level being that bad, but we'll see what happens. It's just in its length, and Tessie, did you remember everything? Do you remember how to dodge bonsai bills? I'm sure you don't. You do, thankfully, though. Because you were great. Aw, oh, thanks. Off we go, new segment! Boom! I mean, boom. No cloud yet. At least I don't think. There's a superpower, I'll take that. There you go. Oh dear! No. Ah! Just spaced enough. No! Just spaced enough. No! Oh no! Luigi, you were sliding on nothing there. How do you have so much WD 40 on your shoes? He works in the factory. Uh, I guess. He stepped in WD 40, he stepped in lube, he stepped in banana peels. Yeah. And everything else that's slippery. Why you gotta do that to your shoes, man? Take care of your shoes. Let's see. This should take me to more lava. And yep. more lava. There you are. What? How are we is supposed up to get there? up there? Huh. That's where I put the star. In a place near impossible to get. Alright, uh -huh. so you gotta hold on to that. There's another cloud on the way. Wow, thankfully having the cloud suit is really helpful with long with uh, wall jumps. Oh. oh, we're fine. Oops. Here's where we're gonna do. cloud left. One cloud left, that's really all you need. Alright, well, here we go. Special one. Must save her. Boom! And it should be right here. Also, I can't die. Oh, don't hit that checkpoint. Oh, oh good. <laughs> there it is. Yep! Oh, fuck. Oh, I needed Yoshi! No, yeah! I did, yes! 
Yoshi, yeah. Yoshi wouldn't have helped you. I know, but still. Oh, right, because I can't use Cloud. <laughs> I'm on Yoshi. Ooh, man. That was cool. That's all green stars now. All of them. Every, Every single, single one of one. them. 240 stars. But all of Galaxy's complete. But there's a catch. And ah! there it is. <laughs> I knew it all along. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to take a look at that. Just to look. Let's 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 take a peek. What we're gonna be dealing with? Because I know you're gonna hate this. No, I'm, I'm sure I am. I hate the one from 3D Land. The final reward for getting all green stars. Grand Master Galaxy. It's even got a grand star in there. It has a comet medal. This is the hardest stage in the game, and that comet medal can go fuck itself. Because it I know what it is. It has a. It has a prankster comet. It has a pr so how about this? Next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we take down this level and the prankster comet and end this series. Come on, man! I know you got it in you. Come on! Okay. Let's zoom out. Okay. All right. All right. That's all that's left then. Let's do it. Cool. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, the Grandmaster Galaxy. Let's do it. All right.